Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to share with you a quick video showing you a new feature AppSnit has. It's called Auto Query Feature and it's available for a host of widgets on the platform. All right, so to show you this, I'm just going to quickly show you what my data source configuration looks like. So let's go into data sources. I'm going to be using the demo user's data source. I already have this connected as you can see over here. And what I want to do is show you how this feature works. So let's go grab in a table widget. I'm just going to drop a table widget here. And you notice here it says connect data and of course if you look at the table data field this actually is telling you to connect to your data so here you're going to select what data source you want this to pull from and as you can see this feature is supported on a whole host of data sources but let's go look for my users table or users database uh, this database has just one table which is the users table and here i want to select what column i want the search filter on a table widget to be performed on. In this case, we're going to filter by email and I can click on connect data. And you notice that the entire table widget has been built for me. So let's expand this so that I can show you what we have here. So the whole table widget is built, complete with server-side pagination. You, you notice I did not have to set up pagination and also search as well, that has been done for me. And if you go into the explore tab and you look at the queries on the app, remember this is a brand new app, you notice all of these queries have been generated to configure the table and make it work well with my database. And like I mentioned, this is not only available on the table widget, but can be found on the select widget as well. So we have this for the select widget and also for the multi-select widget. And you can expect more widgets to support this feature, which is going to help you build applications quicker and figure out data binding between your data source and your widgets much easier. All right, that's all I wanted to show you in this short video. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.